Good morning, y'all. It's Miss Shirley, Cleveland, Ohio, Zone 6A. I'm out in the garden early this morning, looking around at things. And uh, I was checking out my banana plant. Uh, I was looking at it, and I looked down at the bottom, and I was like, oh, that's a pup. I was like, Led. I was watching Led this morning about his trip down in Florida. And I was like, he was buying more tropical trees and stuff. And I was like, oh, cool beans. And then I was looking at that. I was looking over at my chocolate cherry, uh, what is this, uh, tomato plant. Boy, old age ain't no joke. And I'm looking at, look at this, y'all. These, these ain't cherry tomatoes. I mean, these are the biggest cherry tomatoes I've seen. And I was trying to figure out why do the ones in the middle ripen faster than the ones on the outside that's exposed to the sun? I ain't figured that out. Do anybody know the answer? If you do, put it down in the comments. Right now, I got my hands <laughs> deep in here trying to pull some out. Check this out. Ain't that nice? These are the chocolate cherry tomatoes. And there's a there's quite a few of them in there. That's the killing part about it. But they all in the middle. And you got to really work your way to get ah, in there. But I know if I want to get to taste them before the groundhogs and the raccoons do, I'm going to have to get down there, put my hand, and get them out. Because you know once they smell them, that's a wrap. Got about two more. Ooh, and I need to prune this back because it's just dense. There's a couple of them here at the bottom. I'm going to snatch them because that's that little hanging fruit. Look at there. Isn't that nice? And uh, they had a couple of dead banana leaves on them. I'm going to take them right off and put them in this rainwater I got over here. I'm not even going to chop them up. Oh. But some came through here. And they the uh, blossoms off my wall of melon vine. I see the blossoms are gone. But I see this one has gone up, wrapped around my pepper plant, my baby wall of melon. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it's gotten bigger. And I'm tickled pink. My celery's really taken off. It likes being out of that cage. When I was looking over here at the cantaloupe, it's gotten a little bigger. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's down in there. Broke, I might get me one wall of melon out of here. And this one has, look at the blossoms on it. I got blossoms all on it. I don't know how long they're going to last, but for now, they're on there. And my cucumber vine, I took it from over in another area and put it over here and wrapped it on this, hoping that it will climb and give me some. But I want to show you this, y'all. The raccoons and the groundhogs haven't seen it yet, but check this out. I got a cute, look at that, isn't that nice? I was like, oh snap, oh, I didn't see this. That's a bell pepper, okay. And it's loaded, it's got a lot of babies on here. And look how big my white eggplants got. One got a nip on it like as if they tried it and they didn't like it, which good. Wasn't for you, no way, all right. And look at this one, I have it in a cage in it. I didn't take the cage off of it soon, and it just came on out the cage and climbing around everything. So I was like, oh, well, I can't take it out now. I would break the branch. So I'm going to leave it in there. Leave it alone. Here's that sweet 100. And uh, look at there. It's got cherries all over the place. It don't bother sweet 100. I guess they like the chocolate. They're exotic, okay? So... I've got a handful of sweet 100s and uh, my pepper plant and some more. Okay, like I said, they go in the middle for the right ones. This is the midnight snack. Okay, Ooh, there you go. So I've got the midnight snack. And what else I want to show you? Oh, the cayenne peppers, they filling back up after that last harvest I took. There's a few white ones on here right now that I could take. I wasn't expecting to do this when I came over here this morning, y'all. I just came over to take a look, but I'm going to have to come back. 
Okay. And let's see what else I want to show you. Oh, I think I'm ready to harvest my peaches because every day I had to come over here and check it out because of uh, the deer and stuff. They keep pulling and pulling. I got this netting on here. They can't get it. And they're soft. I think they're ready to come off. Yeah, I think I'm going to take these off today. I'm not going to take the chance. They're a little softer, and I can actually smell them. So that, no, that means if I can smell them, they can smell them. And also, I added some Irish Spring with some pretty purple knee highs that I never wear. But look at the apples on this bad boy. Look at the apples, how big they got with all this rain. Look at the clusters. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at these. They're getting so big. And that's not just on that side of the tree. Look at this side of the tree. Y'all, I'm so tickled pink. I've never had this many apples on this tree. And I think this is the third or fourth year. You know, I'm coming all the way around. Look at them. Aren't they nice? This is the honey crisp. Okay. And now on the contender peach, they're starting to change colors. So they're going to be ready in a minute. But I'm going to get this Red Haven and strip this bad boy today. Because I know if I don't, I'll be sorry tomorrow. And even the ones on my pink lady are starting to swell up. Because it's been raining just about every day. All right. Just a little update, y'all. And as I always say, y'all come back now. You hear?